come join us out here. As you can see by the newly formed snow banks, um, the skid steer operation was successful. Driveway is much bigger than it was. Just in time to get much smaller. Yeah, we we're supposed to get another 10, 12 inches of snow this week. So for all of you wondering how much snow we get, yeah, it's a bunch. But every day, we gotta clean up solar panels. Don't fall down. Okay. This will be the third time that I've shoveled the RV off. And we're supposed to get another foot of snow. So, um, yeah, just trying to stay ahead of it. Okay. Oh. easier to get on here every time though, I guess. Maybe. You want to do this? No. Huh? No, you look like you're doing a fantastic job. It's pretty fun. Yeah? The birds are cheering for you. Yeah. Did you fall off? Oh. No, but I jumped down and hopefully my boots are completely filled with snow. Well, now I know why you guys are so angry. Are they out of food? Yeah. What kind of bad bird mom is to take care of her birds? So, oh. made a critical, critical miscalculation here in Alaska. And that is, I parked the trailer underneath the eaves and the snow shut off and I have spent about four hours of shoveling and chipping ice to get it to this point. Um, I still got another hour or two to go. That's great. When we get it out, we're not going to park it back here. No.
want to show you something quick. The reason that we're working so hard to get this trailer out of there is if you look up at the roof there, you can see on the right side it's already started to slide about a foot. Um, when it goes, we'll probably be about two in the morning when you're sleeping and it'll sh it shakes the whole house. But when that comes off, that will completely bury the trailer again. And at that point, I'm just gonna go without it because this is a lot of work. But right now, what we're gonna do, I got a chain hooked up to it. The ice is like a three inches thick on it. So we're gonna hook up Old Blue and we're gonna try to pull it out of there and clean it off the rest of the way. And it won't be going back there. snow can fall off and just land where it lands but at least we can use our trailer again yeah we were we were getting there it's just another thousand in so in a nutshell also I have a uh, Honda snowblower in the back of my truck and we are in the middle of February which happens to be the snowiest month in Alaska and we already have this much um, out in the woods it's up to about here so um, yeah we got a lot of snow to go for those of you wondering how much snow we get in Willow Alaska yeah hang tight because we're supposed to get another foot this week wow right? and this has been an easy winter it's supposedly yeah, yeah. so old <laughs> blue rescues us again yes I can't see. Oh. oh, my eyeball. Here. And for the record, I know you see that stovepipe and it looks really dumb. It is really dumb. Um, it will be completely different for next year. Um, I was just out of time and that's what I had time to create. So. Uh, next year it will be completely right and up to code, unlike what we have this year.
just that I packed. Think, I think we're just, oh Jesus, I hope we're not stuck. about this plow it just pulls them out That's... yeah and it wouldn't be any better if you turned them around would it well put them on the other nah. you know what i mean i don't know how it happens because it literally a hairpin clip or a linchpin clip it has to flip it open to take it out which is just impossible okay Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Please explain to me why, why there's a snowblower in my house. Well, before I work on a snowblower, I like to make sure that it's warm. So I just brought it right in the house. <laughs> it's, um, I don't have a garage. I'm not doing it in the snow. So I just drove it in the house. Hmm. Doesn't everybody work on the snowblowers in the house? I don't think so. Really? I think that's the outside. Pool. I think I may be the first one. Ever. I'm pretty sure you're not the first one. Huh. But I've heard of motorcycles and snow machines being built in people's houses. In fact, I had a friend who had a snowmobile engine on his coffee table for about four years. <laughs> so why not have a snowblower in here? Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you can guess, we move a lot of snow here and I have a borrowed snowblower. Um, but Whenever I borrow something, I try to make sure that it gets returned in as good or better than I got it conditioned. Unfortunately, I was running it last weekend. I heard a loud snap, and this is what I got. The auger drive belt completely let go on me. And then the actual drive belt itself down here, the second one, also has a big chunk out of it. So 
we are going to put two brand new belts in it because as it turns out i still have more snow to blow um common things that fail on a snow blower your most common one are your shear bolts and every every snow blower has them you're gonna have on this one you've got little bolts right here and then you've got bigger ones right here and you've also got one here and back there so you got those on both sides right so this one here i can tell is really close to being gone where this one's a lot tighter yeah this one's just short of being blown if it already isn't um, and then you of course have the drive belts and this model is a hydrostatic which is really nice your typical ones use a friction wheel and that friction wheel i don't know how to explain it um anyway it's a friction wheel look it up they kind of suck if they get wet at all boom no drive at all hydrostat is pretty much a lawnmower transmission so water doesn't bother it um, but this is a chore to replace because in order to replace those two belts i have to remove the whole front of the machine and i believe there's 10 bolts so i'm going to see how fast i can do this First thing you gotta do is remove <clears throat> your chute control and then drop pieces on the floor as much as possible. Just set that aside. Um, Does that mean we can adjust that then? What do you mean? Oh, so that it stays tighter? No, part of the issue with these is that they, they tend to be that weighted a certain way. And even the handle makes it always wanna go a certain way. So then once it's sitting there vibrating, you set your chute to where you want and then it kind of wiggles. Now, have you done this before? <clears throat> no, oh. I, I have never done this before. I, you're not even YouTube certified? I'm not even YouTube certified on this one. Hmm. Oh boy. And they're tight. got three out and I see one is missing <clears throat> this is not the first time this has been done on this machine because I noticed the one belt that was broken is a Napa belt and it did come with a Napa belt for sure this is an old snow blower um, when you look at them if you're if you're ever looking to buy a used one a couple of things to look out for that's really gonna cue you in on what kind of materials they were blowing. And this is a two-stage snowblower. So your first stage is the auger that runs pretty slow. And back inside there is the impeller. Now, what I've seen on this, whoever was using it was using it on a primarily gravel driveway because the where the two-stage is right here, see all this rust on here? That's from rocks hitting it from the inside. And we'll get try to get you a better look in there, but um, the impeller is just beat silly. So is what it is. That's it's a used snowblower. They get they get used pretty hard. So um, let's get back to work here. And this is pretty much true for any snowblower. They all kind of come apart this way. Um, you have to literally remove the front. There is no easier way. I wish there were, but it's just a common failure point on these machines is that those are going to wear out. When you start getting it, it'll start leaning forward and you think, oh, all right, this is gonna be easy. But part of the way that they keep the belts on there is there's a couple of guards for each belt that you have to have it completely separated to remove because those keep your belt from spinning off. God, this one's tough to get to. But this one's been apart already. And I have a sneaky suspicion that the bottom two bolts aren't even on the machine, which would be good news for me. 
Oh, that's not ideal. Okay, so we got two on the bottom here. Nice thing about a Honda snowblower though, is you can get online and you can see the parts break down and you can get pretty much any part on it. I mean, you could completely rebuild it. Phyllis? Yes, sir. Um, might need a hand here. Wow, something else is horribly wrong here. What is that supposed to be? Holy God. I don't know what that is, but it ain't where it's supposed to be. Wowzers. Oh, what is that? I don't know. That's not quite right. Okay. So, and that has been welded up and that has been welded here before. Okay, let me flip this down and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here. Okay, so we got the two halves separated. That was easy enough, there's like six bolts. Um, let's see, these right here, these are the guards that I was telling you that you have to remove in order to get the belt in there. But I see something more disturbing and I have no idea what this even is. This right here, I, I don't know what that's supposed to do. I don't have any idea. Huh? Wait. Huh? Does it have anything to do with that? No, that's, it, it would. Like this would do something. I, I don't know what that is. Do you see that? The heck is that? But I see right here, this has been welded up. That is not, well, maybe that is factory. I don't know what that's supposed to do. Somehow it doesn't. It's not affecting anything in there. Yeah, I know, but geez, oh, Pete's. No, the other one hit the other belt, the other lever. Okay, see that? That is what put tension, tensions your belt right there. So when you squeeze that handle, then it drives the hydrostat pulley right here, like your transmission. When you let off it, then it just spins free. And you can see on this belt, there's a big chunk out of it right there. You see that? Yeah, that's due to fail. But I don't know what this is supposed to be. And that didn't just happen. It's been like that for a long time. So I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is and pretend I didn't see that. So let's, uh, let's get the other belt on. We'll take these guards off and, uh, we'll get the other belt on here quick. So we pop that off simple enough. That is our longer belt. That's the belt you need. I went right on. The Honda was going to be incredibly slow, like weeks to get the belts. So I got the belt size right off the Honda website. I called up Napa. Boom, I had them in two hours. I don't know if I can... Oopsies. Oopsies. Are we... I gotta take this off. Pre-soaking the floor for mm -hmm. easy cleaning? We are. Trying to make your job easier. Thanks. I'm all about you. Mm -hmm. On a positive note, we're not getting attacked by a moose today. Not today. I mean, it's early. <clears throat> yeah, it's we still got hours of daylight yet. Yeah, very well be attacked in a minute. There we go. So we got that belt on there. Put the guard back in. You want these, these guards as close as they can be to the belt without actually touching them. Without these guards, once the way this tension system works, if you didn't have those guards in there, as soon as it let the tension off, the belt would flop off. That's the purpose of them. 
It's not a safety thing. It keeps them on the pulley. Yeah, if anyone knows what that doohickey is, let me know. I'm pretty sure it is a brake that would automatically ride on this pulley. Don't want it touching. If it touches the belt as it's going around, you won't even know it, but it'll wreck the back of the belt and it'll prematurely fail. Now to do this one, we've got the same thing. These are bolt heads instead of uh, nuts, but we'll pop them off and change that belt as well. And this is something that if you have a snowblower, you will be doing this. If you haven't, it must be new where you don't have snow. So pop your guard off. Ooh, that is really sharp too. And then, so we're gonna have to loosen these up a little bit too. Oh, I like things tight on this. Necessary. <clears throat> so loosen them both, take one out. And you can lose it on the floor. I don't think it even hit the floor. I think it's oh, lost in space. That's perfect. So yeah. there you can see that belt, how bad that is. I see it in there. You see, it's inside? Yeah. That's perfect. No. It's weird there's ice in there. Huh, huh that's super convenient. Yeah, because it's... Where's your extension? Save the day again. Yeah, pretty much. That's yeah. how it works around here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Really? We're doing this right now? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yes, we are. Okay. Okay, we'll see if we can get the new one back on. We got that back on. Avoiding the jagged piece of stuff there. Where's that bolt? We'll slide this back into place. Tighten them both up. This is also a good time, if you've heard any unnecessary noise coming from your snowblower, to check these two idlers. Yeah, that's nice and quiet. Well, that one's rubbing, but... That one's a little loud. If I had one right now, I'd be putting that in. This, these two pulleys right here, because they're right on their own bearing, if you're if you've got an old machine like this and you're just trying to do some maintenance, I'd also be replacing those. But I don't have them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it together. You realize okay. you have to get this back out of the house now, right? Right, but now the auger works, so I can just go right through the door. No. No? No. Let's put this guard back on. Before you forget? Yeah, because I was just about to forget. Okay, now let's put this... And keep the old one for emergency purposes. Ah, uh, no. No? No. A lot of times, with wear items like this, I wouldn't... I'm not going to try to keep the old belts, not when it's missing a piece. You'll go through all this work just to have it break in about 30 seconds. Um, but what I would do is I would keep the sleeves for it. Keep these, that way... If you need new belts, you can call up Napa, say, hey, I need whatever number this is. They can get them for you, usually same day, and you're good to go. So, let's put this back together. It's nice, this thing just kind of stays balanced while we work on it. Slide this together, and get that on there. This might have to tilt down, or tilt. Okay, we're gonna have to 
pick this up just a little bit. Fit it in there. Wow, this is. Okay. Now it's got to fit in. Inside the black? Inside the black, yeah. Now, if you reach over on the floor, you start a bolt in there. drop it far, far away. It could be in the side of the top. Right, there we go. Okay. Man tight or girl tight? Man tight. Tight as you can make it. And then go another half a turn. Okay. I'm going to put the guard on that goes right here. And I'm, then i got to put the chute control on it. I'm going to quick check the oil. And we'll take it outside and try it. Good thing we got snow. Yeah, oh, that's a good thing we got snow. Yeah. So no one ever. Mm. Let's put this guard back on. Super smooth. Yeah. Do you only have one over there? Good afternoon, this is Adam from Alaska Cut the Cord. So, so many people ask, you know, how much snow do we get here in Willow, Alaska? Um, I'll say that right now we are plus or minus a half inch of 96 inches of snow this winter. Um, that puts us in the top 20th snowy years ever in Alaska or in Willow, Alaska. Um, that's painful for the first year here. But let me show you something here quick. This, as you may or may not know, is a three-quarter ton Dodge. And I have completely cleared the snow off it once, drove it around, and I haven't been able to clear the snow off it here for a month or so. And yeah, the bottom of the hood is right in here. So yeah, there you go. Um, and then there's my truck, which... I need to get it out of the snow and it hasn't moved for three or four weeks and here it is so i've got it shoveled off on the top oh, i'm gonna have to shovel off to get the door open hmm. awesome well i'm gonna try to get this out of here um, so i can push that snow back i think and uh, i'm getting rid of that topper I'm going to sell it. I don't like toppers that much. So let's see if we can get this out of here. I'll set you up so you can see. Well, we got it out. No worse 
grasp of the wire but you can see here where it's parked i had it scraped down really good when i parked it here unfortunately yeah she kind of has filled in here poor old truck there you go a week in the life of snow removal it's kind of our new favorite hobby so <laughs> No, no, I don't mean that, but it is necessary, and that's what we do here. So, from Alaska, cut the cord. Love you, bye.